AI is like the genie from the stories that we all knew and grew up with. In the stories, the person who finds the lamp has to be very careful about how they phrase their questions. One wrong word, and you get a literal interpretation of what you're asking for that can go terribly wrong. I don't want to ever be hungry again, and you lose your appetite forever. Wish for world peace, and you find that you're the last person on Earth. As a privacy lawyer for over 20 years, I've seen organizations rush to adopt new technologies without fully understanding the legal implications. The real risks are not in some distant Skynet future. They're happening right now in boardrooms and on laptops around the world. It's about what happens when organizations don't properly control the AI genie that they summoned. Today's generative AI is essentially autocorrect on steroids. It uses statistics and probability to predict the next piece of text, image, or code. It's not truly intelligent in the way that humans are and doesn't understand meaning and reason the way that we do. But just like the genie in the stories, they have power. And just like the genies, they are literal, unpredictable, and sometimes mischievous in how they interpret our requests. They follow instructions precisely, which isn't always what we intend. Organizations are embracing AI tools, but over-relying on the technology and don't have sufficient human judgment to govern them. They rub the lamp, make the wish, and hope for the best, but they haven't read the fine print. Let me give you some concrete examples. Air Canada was held liable when their customer service chatbot promised briefment fare discounts that it wasn't authorized to offer. A court ruled that they couldn't distance themselves from the promises made by the chatbot. They own the library, they own the genie, they own the consequences. Samsung experienced a serious data breach when an engineer used AI to review software code. That confidential information went into an AI server and potentially used to train future models. A simple action that resulted in lasting intellectual property exposure. And in a case that sent ripples through the legal community, attorneys in the US were sanctioned and fined by a court for submitting research prepared by an AI that contained completely fabricated citations. They failed to verify the citations. And this results, of course, in professional consequences. In each case, we see organizations that have not understood how to properly frame the instructions to their AI or to provide the right guardrails, making wishes without understanding how the genie would interpret them. And in each case, existing laws held them accountable. The laws governing AI aren't all new or, spe or specialized. We have privacy laws that govern how organizations must handle personal information. We we'll probably will see legislation that will address AI specifically. Right now, organizations are being held liable under existing legal frameworks. Human rights legislation, consumer protection, employment laws, and copyright you're still bound by the legal obligations you've always had. But now with technology, that's moving faster than your traditional controls have been able to manage. So there are three critical controls every organization has to have in order to make sure that the AI, AI genies are working for us and not against us. First, AI systems are only as good as the data they're trained on. You remember garbage in, garbage out? Well, in AI, it's bad data in, legal liability comes out. <laughs> Take Amazon's experience. They built an AI 
to screen resumes for engineering positions, training it on their historical hiring data. The result was a system that systematically discriminated against women because historically they'd only ever hired men. Biased in their, in their historical data created a biased AI and as a result they couldn't fix it. They had to scrap the entire project. Beyond bias, there are many serious questions about data provenance. Do you have the legal right to use the data that you're putting into the AI? Have you respected copyright or privacy laws? Or your contractual obligations? Is it old data and no longer relevant or useful? Many organizations don't have an idea about the answers to those questions. They're making wishes without understanding the material with which the genie is working. Second is governance. Establishing clear boundaries about how AI should be used or shouldn't be used in the organization. Most of us are not building our own AIs. We're using tools that have been provided by others. But that doesn't transfer liability. When your staff uses AI to draft documents or to analyze data, your organization is still legally responsible for the outcomes. If you borrow your genie from someone else, you still own the consequences. Effective governance means, first, conduct an inventory of your current AI use. You might be surprised by what you uncover. 50% of employees, according to a recent report, are using AI without approval. Establish clear policies for your staff around use. Implement ve vendor management protocols because AI, like vendors are using AI in everything today. And finally, ensure your contracts have proper protections for confidentiality and liability. Governance also means continuous oversight. Take Air Canada, for instance. If they'd had proper governance, they would have been reviewing the chatbot's promises on an ongoing basis. This is where emerging AI governance standards are valuable. These frameworks can help you build transparency, accountability, and risk management, the qualities that you need to, in order to manage your AI genie. You can outsource a task, but you cannot outsource a liability. Just as the lamp holder in the stories remains accountable for the wishes that they make, your organization remains responsible for your use of AI. The final point is education. Putting powerful AI in the hand, in untrained hands is like giving somebody a magic lamp without explaining what the rules of making wishes, or giving someone a car without requiring driver's education. It's inviting disaster. Your team needs to understand exactly how to properly frame questions to make a useful and accurate outputs from your system. What are the limitations and the risks of these tools? And where human oversight is necessary? How to explain AI systems if questions later? Because this is very important. Under many Canadian laws, we are obliged to be able to explain our decision making. You also must demonstrate, in many cases, that you've provided proper training to your staff. Education means providing a culture of mindfulness around the use of AI. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Your people need to have the judgment to know when to rely on the genie and when to rely on human expertise. So becoming the master of your genie means knowing your data, understanding the limits of proper use of AI in your system, don't be a passive wish maker hoping for the best and sleeping, sleepwalking into risk. Be an active commander of the power that you're wielding. 
either you are the master of your genie or you're its servant. Thank you.